before we get into talking about San Andreas, we wanted to thank our sponsor, Boss Play. Boss Play is an escape room in Oceanside, California, and they've been helping us out for the last few months uh, with our show and, you know, just supporting us, getting behind us. And we really appreciate them. They have, as of now, they have two different escape rooms, uh, the Prohibition Ransom and the Chocolate Factory. Taylor, if you had to choose which you would be stuck in for the rest of your life, a chocolate, chocolate factory, hundred percent, or hundred percent. That's not even wait, a question. Wait, or a time era where the prohibition was going on. See, you didn't, you didn't consider that. Okay, but uh, what is, uh, is there a prohibition during the time that I'm in the chocolate factory? It's actually a chocolate prohibition. Oh no! <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I still take the chocolate prohibition. Oh, okay. That's the best way. I mean, there's what else are you going to do? That's the only choice, really, if you think about it. Yeah, I agree. I heard this... At least it's a little funner. I heard this theory. Uh, I've been watching Harry Potter with my kids recently, and uh-huh. they were saying that Willy Wonka is... Is the brother? Yeah, the surviving twin from Harry Potter. I don't, yeah. I don't remember if it was Fred or George who survived, but that was like the greatest fan theory I've ever heard. Oh really? Yeah, I I remember reading about that. It seems like something you would just hate because I think I feel like you hate all things that have like made by fans. That, what? that doesn't seem fair at all. And just uh, and just also all things. I do hate all things. That is fair. Do you like Do you like Harry Potter? Uh yeah, I actually do. Uh, Harry Potter is better than I think. Uh, it could have been or. No, not not better than I think it better could have been. Better than it could. Well, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I, it, Harry Potter. I like Harry Potter a lot more than I would have expected for me to like it. And yeah. Because same here. I have I have a lot of problems when magic is involved in movies because yes they you can just get out of things right like they set a problem and they're like oh, yeah. oh here you go magic spell fixes everything and it gets really boring because at that point nothing matters. Like every mm-hmm. every situation is contrived because oh now this thing's broken it doesn't work in this area or it, it's just everything is based on convenience. Well, with Harry yep. Potter, they do a much better job of establishing everything they're going to need to use in the beginning and building on top of it, as well as building on top of it from movie to movie. Like having them be in school is probably the best idea. Uh, for that story because there's rules about uh, what they're allowed to do what you can and can't do yeah and then what they and, even and they know don't know how. everything yeah. and so yeah no i think harry potter is actually really good it's one of the better uses of magic in movie or media or whatever what is the best use of magic the best use of magic well like actual magic or magic just in general because the best magic movie is, that? is The Prestige. Christopher Nolan's The Prestige with... Uh, that is not... Those are illusions. Until you get to the end, and then they're actually magic. Uh, okay, so I'm talking about mystical magic. Mystical magic. Um, I'd Probably Harry Potter I would give, give it to. Or... What else even is there? Well, I mean, there's like Gandalf, right? From Lord of the Rings. There's. Uh, you don't like Gandalf's magic? You fool. <laughs> I like Harry Potter more than Lord of the Rings. Why can't I think of anything else with magic in it? I feel like there's a ton of stuff. Aragon has um, magic in it. Um, never seen it. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know. It's. it's. I think Harry Potter is the best. But uh, that's not what we're talking about. Taylor and Alan talking about who? No, no we're not, not talking about Harry Potter, Taylor. Back off. Let's slow down a bit. Before we get into our actual conversation about the Blade Runner series, I wanted to talk to you about San Andreas. Because right. I'm a little worried. As you know, you live in California. I do. And this movie, I believe, is a documentary about the future when California yeah. 
pretty much just falls into the ocean. Which it should. And I'm concerned that if you see this movie, you will move away and not be there when the earthquake happens. Even worse, I might move to where you are currently. <laughs> that, would, that would definitely be worse. <laughs> <laughs> but so uh, this movie is crazy. San Andreas. I saw it on Netflix last yeah. week for the first time. I, I like The Rock. I enjoy him and everything he's in. He's very charismatic. And I mean, he's always kind of the same character. Uh, he's not a good he's, actor. He is the same character. Yeah. But he's to, he's he's a better version of like Vin Diesel and Jason Statham. Yeah, may- he's plays the same character in everything. He's just like he's a little easier to watch. He's a little less jarring. But he's just likable. Well, yeah, exactly. I don't like Statham, and I don't care for Vin Diesel. So I don't like any of their movies. <laughs> and I think we've had this discussion before. I think we have. But so he is a firefighter who flies a, a rescue helicopter for Los Angeles. Him and his wife got divorced because their daughter, their oldest daughter, ended up drowning in a kayaking accident or a tubing accident or something. I don't remember exactly. And he couldn't save her. Uh-huh. And he it like tore him apart and he was just like, I save everybody, but I couldn't save our daughter. I'm useless. And so that destroyed their relationship. She is now with this new guy who is a, a builder, like a skyscraper builder. And Oh, so this is a prequel to Skyscraper. It could be, but this guy dies. He gets squished by a, a boat. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, okay. So maybe it's like the guy's predecessor who builds the other skyscraper, but I'm not. I'm not maybe it's a sequel to the skyscraper oh you think this happens after so the rock works for that guy loses his leg and grows it back for san andreas look i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know anything about either of these movies <laughs> so i have my the only connection was the fact you said the word skyscraper oh okay well <laughs> that was all i had to base that on. that makes sense so he so he's a firefighter his wife his ex-wife is now dating this builder and they have another daughter who uh, lives with the mom and the new boyfriend. Or they're about to move in together. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. She okay. is going to San Diego for reasons that I didn't care to remember. I thought I knew it, but I don't remember. He had a, the, the boyfriend had a business trip and took her with her him to san diego on this private jet because he's like super rich um the rock ends up saving someone at one point in his helicopter but gets some damage on his helicopter so he's flying it to go and get it fixed then the san andreas quakes start going the the fault lines start shifting and thankfully paul giamatti is in this movie and he is a scientist scientist right he is a scientist yeah the most believable scientist I've ever seen in any movie, Paul Giamatti. They figured out more than Billy Bob Thornton from Mom Again. Uh It's it's close. I gotta give the nod to Paul Giamatti. But they they f- okay. I like I like Paul Giamatti. They give the uh, they come up with a new technology to predict earthquakes. But they come up. They figure it out. They prove that it works right when the first one goes off. And it kills his That's convenient. his buddy on a bridge who ends up saving this little girl. And then they're like trying to warn people, but they can't really warn people because all the technology stuff is like destroyed. And uh, it it just it's weird. They're like stuck in an office trying to predict all these earthquakes that are coming, and yet mm-hmm. they don't really do anything until the very end. And they like, hey. A bigger earthquake is coming. Get ready. But there's been like so much devastation from all these other earthquakes. It it seems like that you you should have already been getting ready. Like, but whatever. So the Rock flies his helicopter. He he steals the helicopter from the Los Angeles Fire Department to go and save his wife. Then from Los Angeles, they're flying to San Diego to save his daughter, who got stuck in a a, a parking garage because the boyfriend just ditched her 
she got stuck in the car and he's like uh sorry and ran away nice then the rocks plane uh helicopter crashes guess where they crash on top of the parking garage no in bakersfield (laughs) under the oh of course and you would not believe it did he crash into a meth lab (laughs) he might as well have (laughs) <laughs> the, filled. the reason why they like have the big crash like he's about to crash land it and it's going to be somewhat safe but he dodges this guy who's uh they're rioting in a shopping mall but this guy's got on like big old timberlands and jorts pushing a cart with a big tv oh, nice. in it i was like oh wow this is exactly what los angeles thinks of bakersfield this makes perfect sense yeah and then everyone has a gun and they're like sneaking around and they steal a car then they drive to the uh, an earthquake spot where there's just this giant uh, chasm, and they can't go. And so then they they borrow an airplane and they fly it to San Diego, and uh, they finally find the girl who was stuck in a building that was sinking into the ocean and swallowed a bunch of water, and then he saved her, and they're all happy. So, what do you think, hmm. San Andreas? Your new favorite Sounds movie? Sounds like. Sounds exactly how I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> it's so bad, man. But uh it sounds awful. It I was I was pretty surprised because I thought it might be good, but it it really wasn't. Mm, no, it looked bad and now it just sounds bad. No. And I just uh, I, I I do like the rock, but I'm starting to like him less. Because he is the guy of 2018, right? He's the one who, we, we've talked about this before, there's always someone who's in everything for that year. And then they you get oversaturated with them, and then you don't want to watch him anymore. Well, The Rock... And for me, it's him. The Rock was like has been the highest earning actor for like three out of the last four years, I think. Which is crazy. Yeah, like... It's because he's in so many But that's movies. also because he's doing everything. Mm-hmm. Everything with Kevin Hart, he's in for sure. Oh, yeah. But uh, they're like, that worked once, kind of. Let's just keep doing it yeah. until they forcibly make us stop. Yeah. So my opinion, you can skip San Andreas. You can probably skip Rampage. And you can probably skip Skyscraper. Haven't seen any of them. I will be skipping all three of those. I've only seen San Andreas. But I have a, a strong suspicion that the other ones are pretty much identical. They're, Look, when I heard that they were making a Rampage movie, I was excited because yeah. it was one of my favorite arcade games to play. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then when I saw the first trailer and I realized that The Rock does not turn into the giant <laughs> monkey, yeah, I was like, this is heresy. I'm not going to watch this garbage. Well, I, I kind of gave up on The Rock when I heard him say there was like an article about it. You're welcome. <laughs> that uh, his character. That's what he says after every movie now. <laughs> yeah, his character will never die. He's like, yeah, I won't be in a. Don't worry, guys. I won't be in a movie where my character dies because I don't want you guys walking away with like a sour taste in your mouth. That's. I mean, that's not his words exactly, but basically, that's what oh, he was. I don't know. I'm really looking forward to that, though. To seeing him die. Yeah, just to mix it up a little bit. I am I am excited about the spin-off Fast and the Furious movie with him and Jason Statham. Ugh. Boo. Did you see number 8? Yeah, I saw numbers none of them. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the first one and part of the second one and I hated every minute of it. Uh number 8 has the greatest action scene in any movie. Uh yeah, I've seen the trailer and that was enough. Jason Statham is in an airplane. Boo. Holding of course. a car seat with a baby in it, in a gunfight, okay. and keeping the baby alive and killing all the other people. It's it's so good. It's so well shot. It's so like it's just such a funny idea. Bullets going at babies. That it, I can't even tell if you're being serious or not. No, seriously, it's awful. seriously, it's it's great. Just that scene alone. It was so funny. Hmm. I'm probably never going to see it. Yeah. I mean, there's another scene where, was it the rock, like, pushes a a submarine or something like that? Or maybe it's a torpedo. So, I mean, it gets... (laughs) Of course. Why not? It gets a little goofy. But uh, the scene on the airplane is great. 
But yeah, so San Andreas, you can skip. Don't worry about it. Will do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you enjoy our podcast, you can follow us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod, like us on Facebook, and we will be back soon.